Hi guys and welcome to part 4 of let's build an amplifier using Aliexpress parts. So in the first part we saw the chassis and the power supply and uh, the speaker protection. And the second part we saw the L20 amplifier which uh, didn't went how should be because the listing says something and actually the amplifier is doing really bad. So that one already lose the competition because in the, the third part we saw the Aku phase M45 that uh, delivered 100, uh, 105 watts into 8 ohm with the power supply that we have in that chassis. And yeah, it's really also sound nice. But today we're going to see the L12 LEC amplifier kit from AliExpress. We're going to build it, we're going to see how that performs, and we're going to see if it's a winner for this chassis. So without further ado, Let's get to my working bench and start uh, putting together this amplifier. So here we go, I have everything ready, my soldering station, cleaning tip and uh, some soldering wire. And now you can see the board already, I installed it, uh, the transistors and capacitor just to match the other channel to make sure that uh, the transistor have the same HVE value on the right place where also in the other board have because was a bit of uh, tolerance between transistors on HV on also the capacitance the same so I'm gonna have this board and with all these parts which are in this bag we'll start uh, putting all together so whatever I don't need for now like this isolating for the heat sinks the spacers and uh, some other stuff around here what i don't need i can put it back on the bag and i can start and uh, i'm gonna start with these three transistors over here because i need to match the bend and to put them on the kind of heat sink made it by the pcb board over there and then we're gonna carry on with the small resistors which are all here and without further ado let's fire on the soldering iron and let's start put all these parts together okay so far i already soldered these three transistors over here the diodes and the zener diode pay attention to the diodes to the polarity to don't put them upside down and then uh, the 60 ohm resistors over there so still lots to go so let me solder some of them more so almost the resistors are already soldered in place apart the 1k resistor so I don't solder them in because this one here in the middle in particular so if you can see this one there is our bias resistor so instead of using a fixed resistor I'm gonna use this uh, trim resistor like that I can adjust the bias accordingly look if we find an, um, on the listing if it says any how many milliamps quiescent quiescent current should draw this one when it's turn it on or maybe we're gonna find some information on biasing this amplifier we're gonna see that one so yeah i'm gonna solder only the 1k here and 1k here and then there it's gonna be that trim pot so let me do also that one and finally the job is done so everything is soldered in place i soldered these four resistors on the other side just because uh, i I solder one and then I went to put the heatsink on on the case and I couldn't mount it the case because the resistor was touching the the soft start so yeah I needed to solder like that so let me install it on the heatsink and start running some tests so we're gonna do first the sound test see how it sounds and then we're gonna check the specs on the listings and we're gonna do also a oscilloscope test to see if it's matching the specs on the listing so let me install the heatsink hook up to speakers and start doing a sound test so here we go our amplifier is mounted on the heatsink so first thing to do before you power on this is to check if the transistors they have any short with the with the heat sink so the screw should beep these ones they should not beep the metal part of the transistor so we don't have any short to the heat sink we can check also with the collector pin from the transistor which is the middle one and there is no any beeping so there is no short 
So now I can uh, hook up the power and uh, run a first test with the, to measure if there is any DC offset on the on the output. And if uh, we don't have any DC offset, any DC voltage, then it's safe to connect the speaker. Before powering this amplifier, let's have a look for uh, some specs on the listing. So this is the listing from where I got this uh, board. And uh, we have some parameters over here. So input uh, voltage ram DC, it's plus minus dual voltage between plus minus 12 volts up to plus minus 55. So it will gonna work with 47, that's not any problem. But we're gonna power first with just, let's see, 15 volts with the low uh, amps. With the current limiting, so we're gonna see how it's doing. If it's drawing too much power, this means there's something wrong on the board. And if it's not drawing the power, we're gonna measure also the output uh, DC to see, to have a look if there is present any DC on the speaker. Because if there is any DC on the speaker, we're gonna burn the speaker, so it's not good. Then it says on the power 120 watts into 8 ohm, around 50 volts range, and 200 watts into 4 ohm around 50 volts range, dual 50. And THD measured at 10 watts with 1 kilohertz, it says that it's 0 0.0005. Hmm, which is really cool. It's very low THD, the total harmonic distortion. So dumping factor is greater than 200 at 8 ohm load. And input sensitivity say that is 1.6 uh, volt with the output of 120 watts. We're gonna see this one when we're gonna do the oscilloscope test. And it says that between 15 hertz up to 50 kilohertz there is plus minus uh, 3 dB. And then quiescent and current, we need to set up this uh, on 80 milliamps quiescent and current to bias the transistors and voltage magnification 31 times and the size of the PCB board. So we know the voltages that we need to apply to it and uh, yeah this is the board so let's run this test. So I set up my power supply to 15 volts and uh, just 500 milliamps uh, current limited and uh, let me turn it on. So we have on and we are drawing about uh, 20 milliamps because it's just the 15 volts, right? So let's see DC voltage. So there is present 0 0.003 volts. So that one is 1 millivolt, 10 millivolt, 100 millivolts. So just 3 millivolts, which is uh, okay, acceptable. And uh, let me now try to put the power on 47 volts. And let's see if it's still okay. So let me switch it off. So now I turn it on with 47 volts and we are drawing 100 milliamps, which is okay. It's better than 80 milliamps, so it's, it will gonna sound better. It will gonna work better in 100 milliamps. And uh, looks like the voltage on the output is still okay. So it's safe to connect the speaker. And we're gonna play a sound to see how it sounds, this amplifier. So yeah. Let me hook up the speaker, let's prepare a, a sound uh, a music and we're gonna listen how this amplifier sound. So this time I installed already the full range speaker driver on this cabinet and it's connected already to the amplifier so let me find a sound and see how this amplifier sound.
really like the sound and uh, we are here now ready to do some measurements so let me turn on my power supply and we have here set up uh, my um, signal generator to one kilohertz let's turn it on let's do a auto set over here yellow is the input signal and the red is the output signal so already for 100 volts rms 100 millivolts rms input we are getting an output of uh, 8 volts rms hmm. no 2 volts rms sorry 8 volts is peak to peak so let's increase the input until clipping it's already hard clipping there they say 1.6 on the specs so already clipping in 1.2 1.1 already clipping so 1 volt rms input we are getting 28 volts rms on the output so let's do some math quick okay so we are getting uh, 98 watts rms into 8 ohm and they were saying that uh, should deliver almost 120 watts in 8 ohm would almost 50 volts power and I am almost there I am 47 uh, volts but uh, let me try to increase the bias maybe we get more so let me adjust a bit the bias so I adjusted a bit the bias and looks like now we are getting 31 uh, volts RMS over there on the output so let me do a quick math also in 31 volts RMS so 31 times 31 divide to our load equal 120 watts so is doing with, with a bit of bias increase it the, the the power or what says on the specs so let's now um, uh, have a look on the frequency response so we start with uh, 10 hertz with the only 500 millivolts input because i don't want to get hot my resistor because it's uh, lower, it's just 100 watts resistor, so we can also see like that. With the same input, uh, we're gonna see the output. So on 500 millivolts input, we have 14.84, 14.80, let's see, on the output. So let's go up. So now we are in 50 hertz, and uh, we already have now 14.9. So yeah, it's growing a bit. So let's go more up, 100 Hz, we are uh, getting, let's see what's the voltage now on the output. So 14.9, we are about there. So let's go to 500 Hz, 14.84, so we are going back to the same uh, point. 1 kilohertz now 14.9 let's see 5 kilohertz what is doing here we go a bit more uh, high so it's 15.2 so it's not properly flat flat let's go to 10 kilohertz right now 10 kilohertz it's 15.3 almost let's go to 15 kilohertz right now on 15 kilohertz we have 15.4 so we are going more up on voltage let's see 20 kilohertz in 20 kilohertz we start a bit dropping so now it's 15.2 on the output so let's see also 25 kilohertz and i'm not going further because it's enough for audio band so in 25 we are 15.2 so yeah it's not properly flat 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 but definitely is doing uh, really good 120 watts power into 8 ohm with uh, a bit more high bias than uh, how much it says there in quite and current it's doing really good so let's see if it's a winner or no and we reach to the end of this video as well so this amplifier is a good one yeah 120 watts into 8 ohm with a bit of more bias than how the specs say they're 80 milliamps only and uh, yeah i really like also how this sound uh, now i'm gonna have time to listen to this too because also aquaphase was doing almost the same 105 watts is more than enough for my amplifier and this one is doing a bit more 120 and I'm gonna do some listening with the same song, switching between this amplifier and uh, Aquaphase, and uh, we will gonna see on the next uh, part which one is winning the case. 
the chassis so yeah if you enjoyed this video please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell to don't miss the next part of this video series and also to don't miss any of my other projects that i am doing uh, on and until the next video guys have a good day and bye bye